Hi, this is Kannu Babu. This part 14 of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, we'll discuss about what is join and what are the different types of joins that are available in SQL. So, what is join? Joins are used to retrieve the data from more than one table. And whenever we want to work with joins, we minimum two tables must exist, and a common column must exist between both the tables. So here different types of joins in SQL are inner join, outer join, cross join, self join. Outer join is again of three types: left outer join, right outer join, and full outer join. So first of all, we'll discuss about what is this inner join. I think you all are familiar with what Venn diagrams, and here I will I want to explain joins with help the help of Venn diagram so that it is easy to understand. Let us consider there are two tables are there. One is left table. This is left table. And this is right table. A is left table and B is right table in all the scenarios. So inner join is generally used to retrieve the matching records from both the tables. Matching records means intersection. Here, your inner join is used to display the matching records from both the tables. For example, if you consider there are two tables, one is EMP, other one is DEPT. As I already told, the rules for joins minimum two tables must exist, and a common column must exist between both the tables. So what is a common column? D number and D number. So here you can see. So what are the? What is a common column? D number. And here you see. So if you observe clearly, this is my left table and this is my right table. So in left table we present EMP table. Right table represents DEPT table. So in EMP table, what are the D numbers that are available? Ten, twenty, forty. And this is EMP table. Ten, twenty, and forty belongs to EMP. And in DEPT table, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty. So this is DEPT table, which consists of ten, twenty, thirty, fifty. So what is the output of inner join? Inner join is generally used to retrieve the data from uh, retrieve the matching records from both the tables. So what are the matching records in both the tables? Ten and twenty. So syntax for inner join is here. Actually, I want to display the employee number, employee name, salary, department number from EMP table. And department number and department name from DEPT table. That is my requirement. So you can give. I will give two alias names for both the tables. One is the alias name is the dummy name that was given for the table. So here I will give the another alias name as D. So whatever the values you want, you can retrieve. How to retrieve? Select, select E dot what E number, comma E dot E name, comma E dot salary, comma E dot D number. Comma D dot D number, comma D dot D name. So whatever the columns you want to retrieve, first write the select query and retrieve all the columns from both the tables. You can retrieve either by using alias name dot column name or table name dot column name, or you can write select EMP dot D number, comma EMP dot D name, comma EMP dot salary, comma EMP dot D number, comma DEPT dot D number, comma DEPT dot D name. Your wish. But here in this scenario, I am using alias name. So let D dot D number comma E dot D name. Whatever you want, you can retrieve from which table EMP E inner join D E P D D, which represents that we are joining both the tables. And whenever you want to apply the uh, joins, definitely you have to take the support of on condition. So on E dot D number is equal to D dot D number. Generally, how the query is executing? First of all, here it is checking what syntax. It is checking the condition, and if the condition is what true, then only it will execute the query. Are you following? So what is the condition? E dot D number. E dot D number is what ten is equal to D dot D number. So ten is equal to ten. Condition is what true. Then retrieve the E dot D number and one not one. J D twenty thousand ten ten E C. And again, join condition how it will work means every row of left table will join with every row of right table. Next step, ten is equal to what? Twenty. Ten is equal to twenty. Condition is what? False. So don't retrieve. Ten is equal to thirty. False. Ten is equal to fifty. False. So next one again, second record row with all the rows. Ten is equal to ten. Condition is true. So display one not two join twenty one thousand ten ten ECE. And again. Ten is equals to thirty. Condition is what? False. Twenty. False. Fifty. False. Again, twenty is equals to ten. Condition is what? False. Twenty is equals twenty. Condition is false. Twenty is equals twenty. Condition is true. So display one not three. Tom twenty three thousand twenty twenty CSC. This is the output actually. And again, twenty is equals thirty. False. Twenty is equals thirty. False. Fifty. False. 
So 40 is equals 10, false, 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 all are false. So it will not display any records. So here actually how it is working, actually here as a developer you have to focus on something like this, you must know how the query is working. Actually, for example, I will write the same query in this manner. If d dot, if I will write something like e dot d number, if e dot d number is equals to d dot d number, then this query will get sort executed. Select e dot d number, comma e dot e name, comma e dot salary, comma e dot d number, comma d dot d number, comma d dot d name something like this so this is my query so how this query is executing actually i am writing the same query in different manner are you following and if the condition is what true then the query will get sort executed and fetch the data from the table and display in our output this is about energon so energon is used to display the matching records from both the tables Next one, what is left outer join? Left outer join is used to display all the records from left table and match records from right table. And if there are no matching records in the right table, then display with null values. Left outer join. Your left hand represents left tables. Check your left hand, that is left table EMP. Your right hand represents right table. So it is used to display all the records from left table and match records from right table. And if there are no matching records in both the tables, display with null values. The syntax for all the joins is same. In place of inner join, you keep left join. Select e dot e number, comma e dot e name, comma e dot salary, so on. From EMP e, left join d e p d d on e dot common column. D number is equal to d dot d number. And the first it will check the condition. What is the condition? D dot e dot d number is 10. D dot d number is 10. 10 is equal to 10. Condition is what? True. Now bring the values. 101 Jaydeep 20,000 10 10 EC. Next 10 is equal to 20 false, 30 false, 50 false. Next 10 is equal to 10. Again condition is what? True. Again return 102 John 21,000 10 10 EC. Next uh, 103. 20 is equal to 10 false. 20 is equal to 20. True. Bring all the records. Next 40 is equal to 10 false. 20 false false but uh, it is used to display all the records from left table there is no matching record from for 40 in a right table so display with null values so 104 james 24000 null null so actually in left any join how it is working internally means every row of left table will join with each row of right table and check the condition if the condition is true it will display the values Similarly, right outer join. It is used to display all the records from right table and matching records from left table. And if there are no matching records in left table, display with what null values. Query is same. Select e dot d number, comma e dot d name, comma e dot salary, comma e dot d number, comma d dot d number, comma d dot d name from emp e right join d e b d d on e dot common column is d number is equal to d dot d number. Right join. Now it will display all the records from uh, uh, right table. So 10, there is a matching for 10. So this will come. And again, this will come. 102 John 21,000, 10, 10 EC. And again 20, 20 matching record is there. Right? So 103 Tom 23,000, 20, 20 CSC. 30, there is no matching record in 13 left table. So display with null values. Null, 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 30 IT. 50, there is no matching record in left table display with null values right outer join is used to display all the records from right table and match records from left table if there are no match records in left table display with null values next full outer join it is used to display all the records from both the tables if there are no match records in both the tables display with null values all the records there is no match record for 40 here so display 40 with null values here you see and there is no matching record for 13 left table, display with null values. There is no matching record for 15 left table, display with null values. So if you want to practically check the output, here you can see. I have done some query like this. Select e dot star, comma d dot star from EMPE, inner join, d e b d d on e dot d number is equal to d dot d number. There we have done e dot d number, comma e dot d name, so on. But if you want to display all the records from the table, you can simply use star. Now it will display the output 101, 102, and 103. The matching records from both the 
tables. Here you see the output is 101, 102 and 103. That is about inner join. Similarly, left outer join. Left outer join is used to display all the records from left table and match records from right table. All the records from left table means you will get what? 101, 102, 103, 104. And if there are no match records in both the uh, right table display with null values. Here you see. This is the output of left outer join. And the right outer join is used to display all the records from right table and match records from left table. The here you will get 10, 20, 30, 50. The match records. In place of left, I will keep what? Right. And check the output. All the records from right table and match records from left table. If there are no match records in left table, display with null values. And then full outer join is used to display all the records from both the tables. If there are no match records in both the tables, display with what? Null values. This is how you can work with full outer join. So next one, cross join. What is cross join means? Cross join is the Cartesian product of number of rows from left table with number of rows from right table. For example, if there are m rows in left table and n rows in right table, then the Cartesian product is m into n rows. If there are uh, 3 rows in uh, left table and 2 rows in right table, the Cartesian product is 3 into 2 rows. Each row of left table will join with every row of what? Right table. Let us see here. For example, if you want to understand, I will try to open my Visual Studio. Here I will try to write select star from uh, EMP. And here I will try to write select star from DEPT. Select star from EMP and select star from DEPT. Are you following? So here if you observe, there are two tables are there. One is EMP, other one is what? DEPT. EMP, other one is DEPT. Now number of rows in left table, how many? Four. Number of rows in right table, how many? Four. So four into four, 16 rows will come. Let us see the output. And the output is 101, JD, 20,000, 10, 10. So here, let us assume this is our left table, this is our right table. The output is 101, JD, 20,000, 10, 10, EC. Again, 102, John, 21,000, 10, EC. 103 and 104, something like this. Similarly, 101, JD, 20. 102, John, 20. 103, Tom, 20. 104, James 20. Similarly, here you have 101 Jadeep 30. 102 John 103 Tom 30. 104 James 30. And here you can give 101 Jadeep 50. John 50. So every row of left table will join with each row of what? Right table. That is the concept of what? Cross join. Here if you want, you can check the output also, you will get the same output. If you write the query something like this, select start from EMP, comma, DEPT, the output is C, 101 JDEP 10, 102 JD, uh, John 10, so on. Or you can write the same query in another manner. So here you see, select D dot star, comma, D dot star from EMP, cross join DEPT D. Don't keep on condition, because it will not do the Cartesian product if you apply the on condition. This is how you can work with cross join. In the next video, I will discuss about self join. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.